Evening again guys, it's time for another wild camp. This is my 100th video on YouTube. Excellent stuff. Okay, I'm just going to weigh the pack. This is total pack weight. Coming in at a whopping 9.4, 9.5 kilos. Got a few extra bits and pieces tonight. Right, I'm going to get set up. It's uh, quite late, it's about quarter to one. Been busy uh, working on YouTube. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get set up. Probably not going to film a lot tonight. Have a, a cider, have a tea, maybe some marshmallows, and I'm going to get some sleep. I've got the Jack Wolf skin Gossamer One Man bivy tent with me. It's its uh, maiden voyage tonight, so we're going to see how that works. Right, chat to you in a bit. Right guys, that's the Jack Wolfskin Gossamer one man bivy tent all set up. Didn't take me too long actually and it was a lot easier than I thought. I've, uh, tonight's stove of choice is the Highlander uh, Mark II Fast Boil Blade, I think is what it's called. Something like that, it's got like the longest name ever anyway, it's the Highlander Fastball Mark II stove. I haven't used that for a little while since I got my Vargo. And uh, yeah, boil 500ml of water, just like that. So I've got a Horlicks light chocolate in there. Just using up the, the big gas canister tonight. Got all my stuff just inside the vestibule. So the little porch area, there's loads of space in there. So I've got my pack in there which is the Osprey Talon 33 litre again. Um, inside, we've got my down sleeping bag, Thermarest, Z-Light, full length accordion style pad again. Just got that tonight for uh, insulation. It's actually quite comfortable on its own. Don't necessarily need two all the time. Got my luxury camp pillow, got my Thermarest uh, stuff sack pillow. It's got all the stuff sacks inside. In the pockets, I've just got my knives, uh, camera equipment, electronics, that sort of stuff. And uh, lights, usual, through night T10 lamp, uh, through night TH10 headlight on my head. And then not on at the moment, I've got the little work light. So yeah, that's the setup. I will be doing a side review later on. I'm just going to get settled in and get comfy in there. So yeah, chat to you in a bit. Couldn't have asked for a better maiden voyage for a new shelter. It's actually raining outside. Don't know if you can hear it, but that lovely sound of just raindrops on the uh, on the fly sheet of your shelter is, is such a good noise. Sounds crazy, but I know a couple of people are like, that's a good sound. Like If, if you do wild camping, you know you know that sound and I don't know there's just something about it that I really like um, it reminds me of sort of when I was a kid when I like you know when you go out with like your dad and you'd like you camp in the garden or whatever your first ever like night in a tent or something just reminds me of that and it's it's magic it's proper magic so um, yeah so I'm getting a full weather test here as well um, anyways I've got tons of space in it so much room um literally i'm just spread out it's, it's brilliant so i'm really happy about that anyways yeah i'm gonna be in here now <laughs> for the rest of the night so uh, bet you thought i'd forgotten eh no cider time always a cider time on tom outdoors right here we go so we've got tonight's cider if you can just about see that it's like Blair Witch Project again, isn't it? <laughs> it's, uh, it's a Copperberg mixed fruit premium cider. So you, some of you might have tried this before. It's quite a popular cider. I seem to sell it everywhere. 4% alcohol volume. Um, it's probably not a lot, uh, no point in me uh, reading too much out, as I say, because it's quite a well-known cider. 
I've had this a long time ago and I wasn't a massive fan of it um, but I've since sort of got into more fruit ciders so that could change right let's crack this bad boy open <laughs> right cheers guys thanks for watching oh hello oh you're a naughty one hmm People outside are probably thinking, what, what is he going on about? What is going on in there? <laughs> in a one-man bivy tent. Hmm. <laughs> oh. It's like a fizzy Ribena. But alcoholic. That's nice. It's, it's erring on the side of sickly, though, a little bit, so... That loses it a point straight away. Hmm. It's not quite how I remember it though. Once again, if this was over ice, it would taste absolutely brilliant. Um, it's fairly chilled. I mean, it's not really warm, but yeah, it could do with a bit of ice in it. Um, I couldn't drink a lot of these. I think I'd like it'd be too sickly, so sort of one at the beginning of a, a night out or something maybe or just as a one-off you know be perfect um yeah it's got a raspberry and black currant oh it's got apple in it as well wow um yeah i think the apple sort of offsets it and makes it makes it taste sort of uh less sickly so that's good mm. I'd give that I'd give that a 7 out of 10 yeah 7 out of 10 so it's a little bit better than uh, the Henry Weston's one last week sorry Kings TLC I know you live up the road from the brewery there from that one but it just wasn't for me that one this is slightly better but I've had better ciders so I'm not knocking it you can taste the quality in it it's just a little bit too sickly for me but still drinkable mm. anyway so yeah Copperberg premium cider mixed fruits I give you a 7 out of 10 cheers <laughs> right guys that's it from me for tonight I'm, uh, I'm going to finish the cider off have my Horlicks maybe eat some marshmallows <laughs> I haven't bought a lot of food for me again because I've had a big dinner before I come out. Seems to do the trick. Um, just snacks really, and I've got some breakfast for the morning. So, uh, and that's when you'll next see me. So, I think I'm going to get a good night's sleep in this. I'm kind of looking forward to it actually. So, yeah, you'll see me in the morning. See you later. Good morning, guys. I slept absolutely brilliantly last night. Um, this gossamer tent is so spacious. It's absolutely brilliant. Kept me warm. Uh, kept me dry. It, it rained pretty much all night. Um, at times not heavy, but the rain was still there. And yeah. I'm just looking around now, like around like the, the bathtub floor and that. None of it looks like it's leaked. The porch looks dry because I've got a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. And uh, yeah, I slept really, really well. Nice and warm as well in here. In fact, it was so warm that I ended up just wearing like thermals. Normally I just sleep in everything, but yeah, I was absolutely toasty. Absolutely brilliant. Result. Breakfast once again consisting of golden syrup porridge, protein bar, and in there, hot chocolate fudge flavour I believe, chocolate fudge flavour, with some marshmallows cracking. 
and here's one last look at it in the daylight before I take it down really good little shelter this I highly highly recommend this one a little bit more weight than I'm used to carrying about I think it said it was it was just over 1.5 it might have been 1.7 but if I strip the pegs out and stuff I can probably get that a little bit lighter but still really really good little tent as I say it's sort of like a large bivy it kind of reminds me of a, a Rab Ridge Raider bivy on steroids <laughs> you've got two hoops in it small one at the foot box one at the head the only thing the only criticism and I'm nitpicking here the only criticism I have with it is there's no little loops along the ceiling to like hang a light or a torch or lantern from only floor but that's nitpicking all packed up all that's left is just a dry patch where I was <laughs> okay let's uh, do the base pack weight coming in at 6.7 kilos I've got a cup of soup uh, I think a cup of snack bars in there like food wise so you're probably looking about 6.5 kilos tops maybe just under that okay that's the end of this camp guys it's been a good one that uh, say the, the Jack Wolfskin Gossamer tent that held out really well in the rain I uh, yeah would really really recommend one of those and uh, yeah I'll hopefully be using it again in the near future a few more times so, so I'll try and sort of change my kit out and use different things each time rather than sort of get attached to like one thing um, I'd just like to sort of get a different feel for different shelters as you probably guessed if you've watched a few of the, the videos on the channel cheers to the support as always thanks for watching this one hope you liked it get in the comments let us know what you think and yeah this was my 100th video on YouTube so uh yeah cheers See you later.